we are going to see in this video. An extraction of DNA from plant samples using CTAP method. Hundred ml of CTAP lysis buffer can be prepared using this description. After collection of plant samples, I have to measure 200 mg and grind it with liquid nitrogen. Then transfer all ground plant samples into an appendix tube and add 700 microliters of CTAP lysis buffer. Vortex the mixture, then incubate at 65 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes in a water bath. After the incubation, centrifuge samples at 10,000 RPM for 10 minutes. After centrifuge, transfer supernatant to a clean tube and add an equal volume of chloroform and isoamyl alcohol. After addition of chloroform and isoamyl alcohol, mix it well using vortex. And centrifuge at 10,000 RPM for 10 minutes. After centrifuge, you will see an aqueous upper layer and an organic bottom layer. Now transfer the aqueous layer to a clean tube while transferring the aqueous layer ensure that you are not disturbing the bottom layer. To this, add 600 microliters of ice-cold ethanol and 150 microliters of sodium chloride solution.
now makes the solution and centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes. After centrifuge, you could see DNA pellet at the bottom of the tube. Now decant supernatant and wash the pellet with 600 microliters of 70% ethanol. After addition of ethanol, mix it, then centrifuge at 10,000 RPM for 5 minutes. After centrifuge, decant ethanol and Air dry the pellet. While pouring out ethanol, ensure that pellet stayed at the bottom of a pond up tube. Air dry the pellet. Add 50 microliter of TE buffer to the pellet and resuspend it. After Store the samples at 4 degrees Celsius for further analysis.